welcome to our podcast thank you so much for the social media engagement thank you because if i was to rely on these two may the good lord help me Lufun, are you good i'm good my brother you good Mbop? i see he's going to tanzania where are you going i'm going with him in tanzania eh? you're going oh, with him to tanzania yeah one eye in, in the psn one eye in tanzania yeah oh i see sundowns bafana bafana players are back you hope they're not injured yeah. sundowns ready for tanzania Look, thank you for having me again. Uh, we are in Tanzania. Mm. And I'm taking Lefuno with me. He's going to enjoy what we call chameleon football. Chameleon. So, just so that Lufuno feels happy, <laughs> the last South African team to be in the finals was Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs played in the final. No win. They lost to Allah. Is the history books correct? And no team ever in the South Africa has has, <laughs> has gone there in the in the past five years, eh? Okay, we hear you. If you brag about silver you, medal, others want to uh, brag about if gold. You, if you just go and play here <laughs> and you don't get there, okay. to win the Champions League, you need to be in the final. Okay. That's just, that's a challenge for Sanders yes, first. Right. Gentlemen, Lufuno will fight for Chiefs the whole day. That's why he buys Kaiser Chiefs chips. Mara, this weekend, anybody that enjoys continental football is gonna be in dark. Yeah. But before we get to the games, yeah. there's a battle within the Tanzanian league that is happening that is between Yanga and Simba. Yeah. Simba are the traditional ones that have always been there. Yes. Mm. Even though a good friend of mine, Clement, says uh, the Wanachi being the citizens of Tanzania, yeah. see Simba as traitors. Yeah. Because they then became the colloquial team, they became the team that modernized and every other thing. Mm. Your thoughts on the battle in Tanzania as things stand? Well, Nabi came in, changed the whole picture. He won straight uh, three leagues there and he left. Kamondi is in, he's leading again. So you can see the power is now shifting into the younger side. So, as he, Lufun was saying in Tanzania, power is shifting to the younger side. Mm -hmm. Who's this younger? Who are they? Because uh, they've been there for a long time. The Wanachi has been there. We got international coaches that want to go there you've got the gamondus going there you've got nambi who was there yeah we saw them in the confederation cup who are these young look these young boys called young mm. they've got a new management in mm. and the mandate here is is to get to the, that spot which is the final mm. and they've got a daunting task to do that but in relation to 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 where we started off in terms of the league mm. they, they are sitting pretty well up there with the least conceded number of goals in the world. Because they gave Simba Chisambama. Yeah, look, Simba is the second highest goal scored against them in the league. They've got about 11. Mm -hmm. And it tells you that, look, even though they, they've got plus minus five or two games in mm. hand, mm. it then tells you that, look, Yanga is doing something very great. And look at the position they find themselves in Kev. Great as it may be, the rivalry as great as it may be, the continental giants that are ascending upon Dar es Salaam. Benjamin Gamba is the stadium to be. Yeah. We start on Friday. Yeah. The Egyptians are coming. Pharaoh's sons are coming. Yeah. It will be the battle of the Reds. Yeah. Your thoughts on that? Big game, uh, 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 Nepal. Um, Ani has been in, in Tanzania before. Mm -hmm. They've suffered in the hands of Simba before uh -huh. in Tanzania. Uh -huh. So, you know, they no minus and uh, minus anymore in African football. It's a big, big game. Um, uh, look, as, as I said, my experience tells me that when you look at Ali themselves, the way they approach these kind of games, when they get to the knockout stage mm. of this tournament, it's they, a different they yeah. become ruthless. They know how to manage this, uh, this kind of uh, games. But talking of Ali, yeah. I see that they've got lots of injuries from international break, unless those players were faking injuries. So Andy will be short of quite a number of players. Um, short or not short, Damposa, I'll tell you something very interesting when you talk of pedigree. Mm. Yeah. They, they don't call them a team of the century for nothing. You know, oh, I thought uh, maybe it was a, I like you, you like me, no, is that what? Uh, Marcel, Marcel Cole will never come to into this game just just pity and saying, look, I've got injuries and I'm going to relax. Mm. And the interesting thing, just to give you a little bit of news on those two teams, you look at them playing probably four times together. Simba have won twice, mm -hmm. al Ahi have won twice. Hey. It's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. Yeah. So... So Friday is going to be fireworks. It's fireworks simple. But looking at the 
context of the game, yeah. from a, an early position, mm. what would be a favorable result? Would a, a one loss, a one one draw, a win at all costs? What's the mentality that yeah, you? Uh, I think you... I think if you look at Ali, the way they play when it comes to these knockout stages, they are they are able to lose the game away, mm. knowing very well the second leg is they playing in in Cairo, and they know. Uh, well, they are except for one team. Uh, well, <laughs> well, they know how. Except they, for one team. Well, Sanders, <laughs> Sanders, Sanders must play Ali in the knockout <laughs> stage, not in not in group stages. They must okay. play them in, in knockout stages. Okay. Then they will okay. see. Mm. In knockout stages is a different uh, ball game together. <laughs> okay. Yes, in the group stage. They can afford to lose because okay. they will win the important but games. But can I interject there? Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry to deviate a little yeah. bit because I hear that he's talking about a, a, a well-known Maraba Stab team. <laughs> and <laughs> now we have to we have to look at it into a context of yeah. the AFL. Yeah. And we've played them. Well, you are saying AFL. You are very you are right. talking in terms of quarterfinals. We are talking a Champions League now. Okay. okay. Let's, let's focus on the Champions oh, so League. Oh, so you're saying they didn't know. So okay, let's, okay. let's focus on okay, the Champions okay. League. Let's focus. So as I'm let's saying focus. to you, both, Simba <laughs> mm. can win in Tanzania mm. against Ali. Mm. That's yeah. why even you look at the stats, it's two Definitely. win, it's two win, two win. Yes. Mm. If you look at goal, goal different, you mm. will see that uh, Simba will win one, one nil, two one. Mm. But the, the score is different in, in Cairo. To Cairo. Yes. So they know how to manage the game. They know they've been in this situation many a times before. Mm -hmm. You know. So Ali, a team that uh, they 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 manage the risk very well. If they see this oh, game so is not winnable, insurance company green green. Hundred percent. But that insurance company brings the Champions League trophy <laughs> at the end of the day. So uh. you don't want me to remind you what happened uh, the previous uh, edition okay. where you had a chance to <laughs> knock them out. He didn't, and they came back and they won the Champions Run League. Run Run So, Run so as I'm saying that they will manage the they will manage the situation. Mm. If 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 Simba can win one nil, can win two one. They know that when they, they go back to Cairo, it's going to be very, very difficult in Cairo. They will get their result at home. So uh, they are also capable of beating Simba in Tanzania. So this game is going to mm. be, uh, it depends on the day and how the coaches approach these matches. But uh, Ali are a very experienced team. They know how to manage uh, this kind of uh, situation. So from a Simba perspective, SC. Yes, that was What's the best way to go about this? Do you go all out because you're at home? And we know that Simba can fill Benjamin Gamba Stadium. So it will be red and white. But at this point, um, red and white doesn't matter because I actually may think it's their supporters. Okay. But uh, how would Simba, how would you approach it from a Simba perspective? Look, um, um, so, so, Simba right now, it's quite a unstable team, if I can call it that. Mm. And I say this based on the number of, I look at their league performances mm -hmm. and I look at the CAF group stages mm -hmm. and we need to look at the number of goals considered versus what al -Akhli have brought into the group stages. You mm -hmm. know? And I'll take it back to, to quite some time when al actually beat them, but this was back in Cairo okay. where al beat them 5-1. This is way back. Mm. So they don't want to come into that game thinking of those kind of things, the history behind the two. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is what are you going to do on the day? You're setting, you're setting up your players in for a very, very good show. So we know, for example, Simba cannot use the same running tactics. You can't intimidate the Egyptians. No, the Juju men in this case won't work. Remember now, you're playing, you're playing, you're playing the Pharaohs. You're playing the Pharaohs, you know. No, no, you do know that Alani is backed by the military, so they'll come very strong. Exactly. So you can't take the chance of exactly. you did with Juanin. Exactly. No. So the result, what you, are, what you both are saying is that the result of this game will then be carried forward to whatever happens in Kyle. He who conquers Benjamin Gamba is not necessarily the winner no, of the tie. No, no, the tie is not over yet. Even if Simba can win, we still have, you know, a, a huge game in Cairo. Uh, either way, uh, Simba can also, you know, spring a surprise and win both games, both ties. So it, it, it's going to be very tough. Simba, I know the team that visits uh, uh, Champions League. They are regular in the Champions League. They understand and know what happens in the Champions League? It's right. Jimba, Simba are not the best travelers. Yeah. They lost here at Soccer City another time. Now they got four. <laughs> now they got four. See, they're, yeah. they're used to big margins when they you know, travel. They, so they got four. Yes. Yeah. They're not good travelers. That's why I'm saying that uh, it will be difficult for them to go to Cairo. Mm. And this time Cairo will be open because we know oh. while during the season they may say maximum of yeah. 10,000 people, 15,000. But when it comes to this stages and when it needs to the right application are put forward to government yeah. and the stadium is open 
would Simba be ready to go back to Cairo? I, I doubt it. You know, you know, I, I'll speak to again experience. Mm. Al Ahli have been in this situation so many times in comparison to Simba. And we, we all know what happens when you get to Cairo. It, it's not an easy territory to play in. We shall be in Cairo, but we've got to conquer Benjamin Mkamba. That's Friday. Friday special is done. Yeah. It's the Yellow Nation on Saturday. <laughs> Both Yellow Nations. The, the, the Yellow Nation. What I can tell you. One Nanji is going to be there. The stadium will be packed full to capacity. So even if the Simba no, supporters no will free, yellow, No free tickets. That, that, no, 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 no. <laughs> get it right. But I'm saying no, on no, Saturday no. there's no free tickets. There's no t shirt oh, no oh, wait, 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 wait. You see, he of little knowledge. <laughs> Yana gave 36,000 free tickets to their supporters. Yeah. So free ticket is a thing. Train setters, chief. Train setters. No, 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 no. So, no, 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 come no, no, Saturday, no. SA, <laughs> Rulani Ball, yeah. Chameleon Football, yeah. you are now away against another Yellow Nation. Yes. How do you approach it? I score goals. I score goals, that's the most important thing. And and that's that's one thing that Sundowns knows how to do. And I, I so wish that a Rulani Mugwena could see a Ribeiro come back. Because he's been consistent in terms of that striking force. Mm. Shandulila has been a little bit quiet, mm. even though the younger boys are looking at him and, and then asking themselves, is he going to bring his A game? Shasha, Shasha, man, he's present. Exactly, exactly. exactly. So we, we also don't need to discredit a younger team. Mm. I'll tell you something interesting that the government said. Mm. They are going to give Yanga and Simba bonuses. Should they beat government. these two teams? Should they beat? Yeah. <laughs> Can Sundowns afford a loss? I, I doubt Milan wants that. No, they no, no. Cannot. We know. We they all, we, we all, they all want to be in the Champions League. Can Sundowns afford a loss? No, they can't. A cannot. 1 0 loss, they can't overturn it back in Pretoria. It's a team that's well known that they're good travelers. So I don't see Sundowns losing oh, this game. So, so you don't see them winning because they're good travelers? They are going to win. Why? <laughs> they are going to win. <laughs> now, younger. Yes. Gamondi. He's leading back home. Mm. He's comfortable. Mm. I mean, in the group stages, he played against the likes of Anakli mm. and it built him a bit. Yeah. Wananchi. Mm. How do you see Yanga setting up? What is the, from the onset? Fireworks. Does it go pound for pound? Fireworks. I, I promise you, Yanga knows their, their best chance to go through is to beat Sundance at home. Okay. Yanga are not pushovers. They mm. are the champions in, 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 in Tanzania. Mm. They reached the, 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 the final uh, last year of Confederation, of Confederation uh, Cup. Mm. They are they not, not an easy team to beat. Sundowns are going to play this team uh, that is uh, very different to what you will get from your widow and all that. Mm. So they've got flair, they've mm. got speed. Um, they're quite an interesting uh, team. Uh, I see them beating Sundowns in in Tanzania, mm. but we talk about Pretoria as something else. But I know for so the fact. Benjamin Gamba Saturday, the people are going home happy, according 100%. to hundred percent. The Funa says Yanga's winning, as he said they can. There's a factor that Sundowns plays good football. Yeah. At this stage of the competition, do they need good football or do they need results? Most important is results, and I think Milan has learned his lessons. You saw what happened with White Art. It was a painful Thank lesson. Him. Very painful. In Africans, they Very say, painful. I say, but only worry than exactly. what they fool. Look, look, Sanders has learned his lessons. And if you go through their journey this season so far, and mm. you follow what they've done in the AFL, mm. irrespective of a different tournament, mm. they've played those teams mm. and giants, so mm. to speak, you know. Mm. And if, if they bring that pedigree into, into this game, I doubt Yanga will be able to contain a Sanders team. Do you agree? Well, that that stadium is is it's it's gonna be going crazy. Uh, you know, Yanga's got a huge support. You know, no, Yanga, Yanga, Wananji. They're gonna take huge support, and 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 I've 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 seen a lot of uh, few games and glimpses of that team. Uh, I promise you, uh, you know, Sundowns is a very good team. They play well in Africa, uh, but I, I promise you, uh, Yanga will win the game in in Tanzania. Scoreline. Uh, but or oh, let me say margin one nil two nil three nil four nil five nil three one three one yes how oh. many when was the last time sundowns considered so many goals 
Watch the game. Man, no, not watch the game. Watch the game is not an answer. I'm telling you. When was the last time Sundowns no, considered three goals? Bona. Man is bold. He is bold. Oh, I see. He's <laughs> got <laughs> no air. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Yes. Lufuna says 3-1. Oh. We need a scoreline. Yeah. Sundowns is winning this 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil Sundowns. At where we stand, you've got to go to down. Because on Friday, it will be a sea of red. <laughs> yeah. The sea of red, your scoreline. 2 1 early. 2 1 early. 1 0 Simba. 1 0 Simba. Hey, my dog. Let's go to Da and see what happens because there's a pride of Da that's at stake. They cannot both afford to lose because it takes away Da's dignity. The Tanzanian okay, people yeah. will not survive with two losses on Friday and Saturday. But you saying they're losing funeral. on Friday. There'll be a funeral. You saying they're losing on Friday, winning on Saturday. There's a funeral and on Friday, there's a party on Saturday. So you saying a, a win? A win? It's a winning. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a wedding, wedding on, on Friday. On Friday. Yeah. Yes. And Saturday. Saturday it's a funeral, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> a battle of the reds and a battle of the yellow. Dar es Salaam, Benjamin Mkamba Stadium. If you are not there, I mean think about it from a Kef perspective. These are competitions that you want to be able to be at. You are building rivalries. All I can say is, may the good football reign. And as a Sundowns fan, Kabuyelo Masandawana, Wananchi, we see you soon.